challenging for? No, wow, well, I won it originally from Danny Little, so it'll be the okay. first time I've defended it, yeah. Right, right, because last time I spoke to you was earlier in the year, and I think you were going to fight at the end of summer, were you? Yeah, March time we was good, I was meant to be fighting, but the, uh, the show got pulled. But it wasn't the same opponent that you're fighting now, because you're fighting George Rhodes, aren't you? Yeah, I am. No, no, it was, um, is it that, that foreign guy, Adrian Trizzo, or something like that, oh, I right, think. I remember. Yeah. Um, so I was gonna fight him over eight rounds. But this is a bit of a local derby, isn't he? He's not too far from this area. No, Scarborough, I think it's about 30, 40 miles away from that. So we will be bringing a bit of support as well. Because I remember doing a little bit of uh, research on uh, George because he should have been fighting a kid who I knew, um, that's uh, R.P. Davies from Blackpool. Yeah, it was. I think that was going to be for the Central Area title. Yeah, I think it was, yeah. He's, he's uh, obviously injured now, isn't he? so he, he can't fight again because of his brain. So we spoke on the show a little bit because we've got you going for a belt and we've got the Central Area title being defended on there as well. Yeah, that's it. It's a, it's a really good show. Obviously, you've got your two main fights, um, me and George and Ovaldis and Chris Jenkinson, and then you've got uh, plenty of support on, underneath on the undercard as well. Yeah, and we just spoke to a young kid there, and uh, Ryan Gibson, who's making his debut on there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think there's a few other lads on there, but uh, they've, they've not all managed to turn up, have they? No, no, they haven't, no. But we've, this is a, a week on Friday. Week on Friday, yeah. Uh, we're in, is this a building where we're going to be fighting in, or is it just no, a no, across the road? No, no, it's it? across the road. I think we've got someone on in there today, that's why we can get in there. Ah, right. And uh, do you know much about your opponent? Um, he was just sparring. Oh, right. Well, before I moved with trainers to uh, Paul Kershaw in St Paul's, I used to spar him. Um, we used to go to Scarborough, they used to come down here. Um, it was a good 50-50 spars, but I just think I've come on a lot since then, mm -hmm. um, and I also think I've got, got what it takes what, to beat what, him. What weight is this going to be made at? It's at 11-2. 11 11-2. 11 um, Steve rang me and offered me the fight. He said we can make it 11-2 if you want, because sort of, I think that will sort of benefit me more than it will benefit him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you're allowed to uh, chip out over the uh, Over the, the championship weight, yeah. I, mean, I remember when I spoke to you last and you were talking about moving down to Welterway, wasn't yeah. you? Is that still going to be a possibility still, further down the line? That's still in my plan. I just think for this fight, it was more of a benefit for the fight to be made at 11 -10. Yeah, because like you say, you know, with missing out on that last fight, you yeah. just need to get the ball rolling. Don't see, you? I, I missed out on that fight and then I, um, I was meant to fight in, um, in York. But I got injured, I damaged ligaments in my elbow, so right. um, that's why I've been out for so long. Otherwise, I'd have looked at getting out before before this. So and how's everything been going for this thing, Connor? Training's gone absolutely perfect. I'm feeling really good in the gym, sharp, strong, very strong. And who have um, you been moving around with? I've um, been doing a lot with uh, Tom Ramsden from Grimsby. Mm. He's, um, he's a good upright boxer, um, and it's just similar to George, so. Um, it was perfect sparring for him, really. I'm on your before then to pick up this title, and then, like I say, maybe next year move down to to the welterweight. Yeah, uh, my next fight after this will 100% be welterweight. But like I say, it just made more sense for this fight to be at 11 too. Obviously, I, having a bit of time out from being able to punch and stuff like that mm -hmm. as well because of the injury. Um, 11 two seem seem the more. And that's sorted way. now. No problems. No, it's all perfect now. Yeah, strong, strong as ever. So. Um, yeah, like I say, I just think I've got the beating of George. He's, he's well, a, I know sparring is sparring, but uh, secretly we all take things from it. And yeah. uh, it certainly, hopefully, you can take the confidence into to make you sure you believe oh, it. Oh, yeah, win don't, it. don't get me wrong, I never dominate any spars. I mean, there's 50 50 spars. Um, mm -hmm. But I just think in there under the lights of eight rounds, I think I'll just get to him a bit too much. I think um, he'll want a boxing match and a sentence with dog fight. And it's your hometown. Yeah. So exactly. you have support with you. Yeah, I always have good support in Hull. Alright, Connor. Well, 27th of uh, uh, this month. Yeah. At Hull Town. Uh, Hull. Is it Hull? City Hall. City Hall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be chatting to you. And you'll have win number 8 behind your name. Yeah, exactly. Alright, Connor. Thanks, mate. And a new belt around your waist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, Connor. Take Cheers, care, mate. Bye bye. Thanks.